What you guys got another video here for you. Why can't I install the latest Windows 11 update? That's a thing I see all the time inside the comments section. Now I'm running Windows 11 24H2. If you're having issues running any sort of feature update on your system and you want to force that update, there's quite a few ways to go about doing it. I'll show you a quick and easy way how to do it here for Windows 11 Home Editions and Pro Editions. So when you're checking for Windows updates, I've seen a lot of people say that they are just not receiving the feature updates from Microsoft. And maybe that is a case where you've set some sort of policy up in the registry or inside group policy or something like that. Or you've run some sort of utility like WinUtil or something like that. And you've run that on your system and it's basically blocked your updates or whatever it is that you've set it to. So what you'll need to do is make sure you undo all of those to make sure it's working. You can see we've got 24H2. If I wanted to force Windows 11 25H2 to come down and skip the queue, then you can do. You can do that inside group policy and I'll show you how to do it here today. You can use this method for any feature update and it should force it to come down. So we've got group policy editor open. This is for Windows 11 Pro and above. Don't worry, I'll show you for the Windows 11 Home Editions as well. You can use this on Windows 10 as well. So go to Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, and Windows Components. Once we're here, we're going to drill all the way down to the bottom, and we're going to go down to where it says Windows Update. Look on the right-hand pane now, and you should see Manage Updates Offered from Windows Update right here. Double-click on this. And the one we're interested in is the select the target featured update version. This is going to tell Microsoft this is the version or, or featured update version you want to enforce. So what we're going to do is going to go enabled and you need to tell it what operating system you're on. In this case, it's Windows 11 and targeted version for featured updates. We want to force the 25H2 update to come down onto our system. Now we're on 24H2, and this will tell Microsoft we want to force the uh, 25H2 to come down. If you're on 23H2, you can tell it to force 24H2 to come down the pipe, and it should come straight down if you're having issues. But we're trying to get 25H2 to come down onto the system through Microsoft. We've restarted our PC, and now when we go back into the settings panel and windows update here so let's go to start settings and windows update you will see that the get the latest updates as soon as they're available is now grayed out but we're still telling microsoft we want 25 h2 and you watch what happens it will pull the version 25 h2 straight down off the microsoft servers this is now going to download and install that latest version on our system and that's basically how we can force a Windows update through the Windows update uh, panel. It's very simple and easy to do. So this will now start to download and it will start to install. Now we are on 24H2. And if you're on 23H2 and you haven't been offered 24H2, then something is wrong with your settings. You should have been offered that a long time ago. And if you still haven't received it, then maybe you have been tweaking your PC or using some sort of utility uh, on the internet or scripts or something like that to block it. You can now see it's downloaded the small Windows 11 version 25H2 update. It's asking us to restart our PC and we're going to restart the PC and this will then go ahead and set it up. Now the 25H2 release from Microsoft is very small. It hasn't got all the features installed on it yet. And this is just a very small update from 24H2 to 25H2. Some people were expecting some big major feature update, but there just hasn't been one from Microsoft yet. It's going to be breaking it down into smaller modules and it's going to be rolled out uh, later on. So you're going to get more features added like the start menu and things like that. And now you can see when I do a check, it's going to basically pull down any updates for 25H2 that are available for this PC. So if you're one of these people that are impatient and want to force the 25H2 update to come down, that's how you can do it. It's very simple and easy to do. It's important to understand that whenever you're making policy changes to the PC is to stop 
doing that policy change unless you want to stay on that particular version. You can force it to stay on the version that you're on so you don't ever receive any feature updates. I've made a video about that before, but it's important that you undo this change now because otherwise if there was ever a 26H2 to come out and you forget, you're not going to be offered that update because you have a policy in place to say, I want to stay on 25H2. So it's important that you undo any changes after the fact. And then once we've done this, I'll show you how to do it for Windows 11 home users or Windows 10 home users. So we're going to go back into the group policy first and undo that change because now we're on 25H2. I don't need to leave that policy in place. And this is where a lot of people make mistakes. They make registry changes. They make policy changes to their PC and they forget and then later on down the line, they don't receive any updates and they wonder what's happening. So we're going to go back into manage updates offered from Windows updates. And we're going to go back in here and we're going to undo this change now because we are telling Windows we want to stay on the targeted version, which is 25H2. So in the future, if you don't undo that, you will not be offered the next feature version of Windows. Next, we're going to open up the command prompt, run this as administrator. And we're going to update our policy by doing GP update uh, forward slash false. And this will force the policy changes. And you can see right here, when we do this, we don't have to restart Windows. I like to do that just for simplicity for people so they can just follow along. So let's go ahead and have a look. Now you can see the get the latest updates as soon as they're available is now uh, visible again because we've undone it. So we're just going to quickly restart the PC and update this system and i'll show you how to do this for windows 11 home if you have home editions of windows you're going to have to do all of this inside the registry editor the registry editor and the group policy editor are very powerful tools and it's important you either create system restore points or you understand what you're doing before you start delving in those locations because you're making system changes to your pc and it's important that you back up your data and you make system restore points so you can roll back just in case something goes wrong. OK, so let's go ahead. And as always, I'll put up a warning. You do this at your own risk because you are editing the registry and things can go wrong. So you're doing it at your own risk. So let's get started. And what we're going to do here is open up the registry editor. So to do that, what you're going to do is hit the start button and we're gonna type regedit inside the actual search box right here, like so. Open up the registry editor, say yes to the user account control, and from here, we need to navigate uh, to a location on our computer. So we're inside computer here, and we're gonna to go to H key local machine, and we're gonna to go to software, open this up right here, and then come down to where it says policies, because that's what we're going to be setting, a policy on this PC. Microsoft, open this up. And we're going to come down to Windows and open that one up as well. And you should see Windows Update inside here. If you don't see it, then you're going to need to create a new key for it. So I'm going to right click on the Windows area right here and click New Key. If you do see it in your registry editor, then you don't need to create the registry uh, key. You've already got it. So we're going to create Windows Update. So you're going to go inside here. And once we go inside on the right hand pane here, we're going to create three new entries. So the first entry we're going to do is right click new string value. We need to give it a name and we're going to call this product version like so. And once we've done this, we can double click on this one right here and open it up. From here, we need to give this a name. So we're going to call this Windows 11 because that's the version of Windows we're on. If you're on Windows 10, you would put Windows 10 in there. And now we're going to right click again and do another entry. This entry is going to be a D word 32 bit value entry here. And we need to give this entry a name. So we're going to give this a name of target release version and once we've done this we need to obviously give this a target release version so we're going to double click on this now and open this up and we're going to make this hexadecimal 
and we're going to make this a one like so that means we're enabling that feature and now we're going to do one more entry inside here and this needs to be another string value entry so go new string value and this one right here is we're going to do target release version info like so and what we need to do once we've done this is just expand this so you can see and we're going to double click on this and we're going to give this a value data name and this is going to be the name you need to put in here like 25h2 24h2 or whatever version you want to try and tell it to target so we're going to target 25h2 here because we want to pull down 25h2 to this system we've already got it downloaded and installed but i'm going to show you what it will do when we take a look so now I can close the registry editor off we need to quickly restart the pc and uh we're going to go back into uh, the windows updates panel so let's go start settings windows update down here there we go and you should see it grayed out just like we could when we did the group policy edit so now you know how to do it on Windows Home Editions and Pro Editions or higher. It's that simple. Now it's important once you've rolled your update out and you've now received it is to go back in and change those values. Or you can just delete the whole Windows Update key that you created because you're, if you tell it to stay on 24H2, it's not going to roll out an update for 25H2. It will stay on 24H2. It's that simple. So we're just going to undo all that just to make sure you don't have any issues of that in the in the future. OK, and that's it. That's how you can force Windows updates on Windows 10 or Windows 11. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.